these guys? You, you're excited? Who's the most excited member of all of you? All right, all right, hey, we've got a panel, we'll decide during the panel, all right? Oh, she's waving her hands too. You look pretty excited. Um, so let's not delay. My name is Jonathan London, and I'm here to talk to the folks behind Henry Danger. I'm going to introduce them one at a time. Let's start with Sean Ryan Fox. Get up here, Sean. <laughs> Sean, you, you want to sit over here because this group over here seems the most excited. But you guys need to step. You guys will step it up. You guys will step it up. All right. Next up, we have Riel Davis. She doesn't want to come over? What? Real Downs. Dude, I, that's my, look, look, look. Real, yeah, real, yeah. real. Yeah. Look at my spelling, look at my spelling. I, my spelling's so bad, it looks like Davis, but it's Downs. It's my spelling, real. She's like, if Mrs. Davis is here, she can go up. Um, next up, let's get director of the show. It's a late edition. Mr. Mike Karen. <laughs> Sorry about that, Rio. All right, Mike. Um, Mike's directing chairs now. <laughs> okay. Everybody's favorite superhero, Mr. Cooper Barnes. Get up here. And of course, Henry himself, Mr. Jace Norman. Come on up. All right, welcome. Um, so just to let you guys know, this side over here is really excited. This side's ex this, excited. This is the side we want to this look side, at. This side, this side, yeah. this side's on their Everybody phones. Over like, here. Up, up. Okay. They're on their phones. But okay. let, let's hear from this side over here. Are you guys excited? Yeah, it's All right, forget All about right. this side. This is the side to pay attention that might, to. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, let's start out. My question is going to be for Mike. <laughs> Warm you up as the late edition and the director of the show. Uh, Mike, just being back there in the green room with everybody, like, what's the t biggest challenge in putting this show together every episode? Because there's a little bit of herding cats going on. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's herding cats, but... I would say the biggest challenge of doing our show is when you, Cooper and I were literally just talking about this, when you guys see the, the final product on our show, all the incredible work that goes into, into actually making it, into making the man cave look like the man cave, with all the lights and the way the tubes work and um, yeah, all the, the special case, effects. The man cave is just made out of cardboard, actually. <laughs> well, don't, don't tell them that. That's not true. It's made of styrofoam and cardboard. That's not true. <laughs> it's close. And chewing gum. We hold it together with gum. And of course, you know, it's getting the actors to, um, you know, do our jobs. Do their jobs, yeah, know yeah, their yeah, lines, yeah, and yeah. all that. The stuff. hardest part is getting Sean sober every morning. <laughs> uh, Pardon? He's just, he's just out of control. He's this so kid. Out of it, out Take of it. photos of him now before he has to go into rehab. It's uh, just a downward spiral. Sean, I kind of see where this is going. I don't know either. Uh, do the, you guys pull a lot of pranks on set? It sounds like you guys kind of oh. mess with each other, keep things light. Uh, we kind of pranked Mike by bringing him up oh. on stage, so I can ima only imagine. Uh, Riel, what was what's like one of your favorite pranks that you guys have pulled over the last couple of years? Like, well, like one of the most memorable. Haven't. I don't know if we've pulled. We haven't pulled many pranks. I wouldn't oh, say we have we a lot of pranks. You guys have a lot of ongoing jokes. Yeah, we have jokes for the pranks. Have. And so these kids watch you guys every week. Bring them out, but bring them inside. Like, what are some of the uh, ongoing jokes that uh, that maybe the inside jokes that they only get here at Stanley's Comic Con? Um, most of them probably should not be said <laughs> yeah. in public. Um, yeah, they're, they're a lot of. I mean, a lot of them lot involve of violence and um, other things. But yeah, you guys do a lot but of mostly we just kind of make like I make fun of Cooper being old all the time. And, yeah, and it sure, um, sure does. And now it never it's... stops being old. <laughs> it's true. And then uh, I don't know. Like we work long hours, so when it gets late, like as 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 um as the night progresses, as the night it progresses, just it just gets weirder and weirder yeah, yeah, and like true. less coherent and like <laughs> makes less sense to yeah, the but, outside viewer. Like we start out, we start out telling like coherent jokes, and then by the end of it, we're just like. <laughs> That is true, I can confirm that's true. Trying to make each other laugh, because yeah. it's like, 
we've been on set for 14 hours and we're exhausted and we're just trying to stay awake. <laughs> You're just crawling around. It's yeah. made out of cardboard. You know this is made out of cardboard? <laughs> the man caves, I'm gonna punch through it. No, don't. My, my son like, no, dude, don't punch that. Don't do it. Uh, so you are kind of like uh, the babysitter sometimes, just trying to make sure that nobody hurts themselves. I feel yeah. like I take oh. more of that role. Mike, you, Mike runs the ship. Like Mike, Mike uh, keeps it together. I don't know how he does it. I think what you see is, what they're talking about is, they have, I mean, genuinely, and I know you hear this all the time, but I can say this 100% genuinely, that everyone up here, everyone truly likes being with each other. I we mean, really do. And <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> it honestly is. And what Jay said, we're together so much, and some of the jokes get going, and, but what I was gonna say is, that's what gets into the show. Some of the funny that you guys see, that some of it really is. These guys, at their greatest moments of being tired and just coming up with it, they've been under, you know, 10th hour, and all of a sudden something happens because of that, yeah. and it's really funny, and that's what you see on TV. That's, that's And are those improvised it. lines or actions or like... Absolutely. Uh, I mean, so, yeah. 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 so sometimes the scripts have lines or ad-libs or something in them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Saying, like lines, but uh, Cooper, you definitely like added certain yeah. like emotions or actions into things that cries a lot of the idea of the script. They're, they're starting to give us a little bit more leeway. Yeah. Like, Jason and I, well, all of us for that matter, but 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 Jason and I specifically with, with the two characters that we play and the banter that we have, they've sort of given us more leeway in the last few years to kind of riff and ad-lib and come up with stuff on the spot, and a lot of that's been making it into the show in the last couple of seasons, which is yeah, cool to say. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but but um, yeah, Mike's right. Like we all just enjoy doing it, and so we we don't we don't play too many pranks on one another as much as we just try to try to crack one another. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's more like you just get so bored that you just <laughs> you're, you're making it sound like a lot of fun. Yeah, you're, you're just really painting a really to... great picture of. <laughs> no, I mean it, no. You, it's true. Like when you're doing something for ten hours, I don't care what you're doing. That's true. It's gonna get reputation. Yeah. Reputitious? Is that a word? No, Reputitious is not a word. That's not a word. It's good. You mean, I feel uh, like it's good. Jays. It's uh, and then so you just you just gotta light it up. So we just like we whisper like butthole into someone's ear and then it whoa. Just, like, yeah, the word butthole ends up making its way into the dialogue a lot. Yeah, uh, but not on the show. Gosh. That's yeah. the magic of Henry and Angel, you guys. Um, now you know. That's how it, that's how it all comes together. Word. Just one little word. And uh, okay, I feel like we've derailed this question. And I, we have. No comment. Uh, but you guys enjoy yourselves. I mean, each other so much that you guys uh, now have a cartoon coming out. Yes. In yes, February. There's yes. a, there's like a, is it a spin-off, is it a continuation? Cooper and I are big comic fans, so we want to know, is it in continuity? Is it, are things from the, from the cartoon uh, going to affect asking, things in the live it, action? Are you asking, is it canon? Is it canon? canon. Like, how, think, is the, how is the, how does the live action affect the cartoon? How does the cartoon affect the live action? It's, the live action will take, take place right after, it will basically take, there's an episode of Henry Danger leading into the, the animated, animated thing. And that, and then it will take from there. And but I don't, I don't, I don't know if the if the animation actually is canon for our show so much. Like whatever happens in the animation, yeah, I don't think really necessarily happen happened. In yeah, our I think you're right because also the character of Henry is much younger in the cartoon. Yeah, it's like season two Henry. So yeah. like Henry isn't as tall as Captain Man like he is in real life. <laughs> um, he's more like the young, uh, you know, innocent Henry that we all. I'm Great innocent. To love. Innocent. Uh, you're not innocent. <laughs> All right, we don't even go to that. Jace, Jace, Jace Norman killed two people. <laughs> that is not true. That is Just not because true. he wanted a bowl of red M&Ms. And he's true. like, where are my red M&Ms? And they didn't have them ready, no, so no, he just, no, he just he killed these two guys. Do you guys remember that guest star? That's Fox, we have to, we to cover up and make it look like an accident. That is not true. But for I'm going to say it right here now, not true. for the world to hear, Jace Norman is a murderer. That's a lie. <laughs> It's true. And I have to say, you are witnessing, this tape. is what happens on set. Look this, at the little this is it. That's adorable. Wow, that's on the shoulder? Uh, that is adorable. Baby Groot. <laughs> She's like mad that you called her out. <laughs> no, it's great. I love it. <laughs> I can be say mad. that they start out as really possible. normal questions. They start out as really normal questions, in my defense. And that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what happens on you set. You guys. <laughs> that's what happens with the scripts they give us. Yeah. They start out really? fairly normal, there's no jokes in the scripts, and then we just make them stupid. We, we just, uh, we're like a virus. 
That's not true. Actually. What's the most you guys have actually, like, over the course, you guys shoot over how many days as an episode? Generally five. Well, we shoot, yeah, shoot three yeah, in there. We shoot three days, yeah. We used to shoot two days, but we needed more we, time. We had, like, so. a recent change. We, we, yeah, we used to shoot two days of the week, now we shoot three days. And right. the other two days were rehearsal days, rehearsal blocking, days. Yeah. things like that. Right. right. And how much have you seen from, like, a, let's just say a Monday to Friday in that five-day span, how much have you guys seen an episode script by the time it's shot change drastically? It, it varies. Yeah. yeah, we'll get yeah. the final draft, like, the day we shoot. Uh-huh. So yeah. like we do a we do a table read, which is where we just sit at the table and we read the script through with the whole cast. Um, most shows, most shows do that, and then we rehearse on stage in the set, so we know what we're doing, and then we shoot it in three days. And every time we every day we do a run through, which is where we do like a play for the producers and writers and stuff. Yeah. And then they change the script off of that. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically how like all well, sometimes together. it like it varies. Yeah. Sometimes we've had like little changes. Sometimes they've changed it's entire scenes. Changes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. something crazy will happen. Like a character that we've been rehearsing with for two days, they'll just decide. <laughs> yeah, this actor's not working. No, yeah, just bring in a new actor, yeah. when, and then we have to shoot that day with a brand new actor. And yeah, it's, they've cut. I feel kind of bad. They like they it's cut hard actors right happens. after, and yeah. that happens all the time in the business yeah. in general. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have spent three days with somebody. Yeah. Making this thing happen and it's at the very last hour. Done. Like, yeah. Yeah, no. Or yeah. Like, yeah, it's hard. Or, or, or midway through shooting we, ones, what they think it's about not it. It's personal. No. I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's just you're bad at your job. Wow. <laughs> No, they just weren't right. No, they weren't right for the role. Right. 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 For, for whatever reason. I just uh, want to know how many of those actors are like, I can't do this. They say cool all the time. They just, <laughs> they just miss the old butthole to one another. Unprofessional. We're all so unprofessional. <laughs> this guy's a murderer. <laughs> Sean, I want to be here. He bit me. Well, <laughs> he's part werewolf, though. He is true. That's true. I think Cooper actually got fired from the show at one point. Isn't that true? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember that Chad Taylor was the producers it, so. that are um, <laughs> incriminating, so they brought me back. <laughs> We've also heard that The Rock might be playing the new Captain Man. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this, this guy is... he was here yesterday. Oh, yeah? He yeah. dropped a couple hints about being the new yeah. Captain Yeah, I'm really? sorry. Yeah. Hey, I wish him the best of luck. It's a lot of hours. <laughs> you gotta get it really early. <laughs> he has no problem. He does that already. Man. He's taking all our jobs anyway. Does he want to run for president? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Do it. He's got all those uh, Michelin tire commercials to shoot. How's he gonna squeeze it into his sketch? Isn't that a Ford commercial? I thought it was a Ford commercial. No, no, like, like, the tires like this. Like, just something where he's all put the tires. Topic. He's got to put the rocks in somewhere. Yeah, just put them in there, like put some tires around or something. Yeah. Called Ford. People will buy tires if the rock says to buy them, right? Uh, yeah, you want to fix the auto sign thing. language of everything we say? Yeah, this guy's awesome. Yeah. Oh my. Do you guys know how many times he's had this sign? Can we give it up for our sign language interpreter? I've been watching this too. Language. Wait, how are you doing like multiple people ASL. talking at once? <laughs> what? Just did it. I want to know how you sign butthole, because we said butthole several times. <laughs> butthole, 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 how butthole. Wait, wait, we're about to see you. Butthole. <laughs> butthole. <laughs> Guys, I think that might be some wow. level of harassment. I feel like we've all learned something today. Um, That's it, kids. We're not watching that show anymore. <laughs> Everyone know. We are strictly a Disney family from now on. <laughs> I can't wait for this cartoon to premiere on Adult Swim. <laughs> <laughs> HBO. <laughs> Hulu. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll just normalize it again. Yeah, I mean, you guys have been doing the show for years. Uh, let's go down the line starting with Sean. What is your favorite episode that you've shot so far? I literally just had a question like online about this the other day. And it's it's a hard question because to be honest with you guys, it's sometimes hard to remember every single episode we've done in the past four years. Episode? And I honestly feel like the writers keep topping episodes. Like we'll have a favorite one, and then we'll get another script the next week, and it'll be like our next favorite episode because it's just they keep topping themselves. And I feel like they do, yeah, yeah. I I I really can't pick a favorite episode. Season four, season four in particular, which is the season that just started airing, like yeah. the first episode of season four aired last Saturday. Yeah. Season four, in all honesty, is our best season, and it's really, really, really good. good. Like every, we kept saying that all season. We're like, man, this is. I think this is my new favorite episode. And then, like Sean says, you forget what you just shot because the one you're working on now is now your favorite episode. Yeah. Um, this this season in general is just really solid. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What's the reason for that? Yeah, I mean, is it, what I, do you guys I, I, like? Do you I like the action, say, the humor? Or? Well, I would almost want to say that, like, the show is kind of... Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like our show is kind of matured in a way that it's, it's become 
even cooler. If you, yeah, if it's you, improving. Yeah. Sure. Well, I, I mean, the fans are a big part of that. Like, you yeah. guys are a big part of that. Like, the fact that you guys like the show, and there's more and more of you now than there was at the beginning. You know, we have to uh, we have to keep making it better and raising that bar. And, and the writers are uh, really in tune with that. And yeah. And so they're they're always trying to top themselves. It's pretty amazing that they're keeping it fresh. Like after after all these years, yeah, well, that they, they're not they running out of ideas, a, and the constantly is growing. Well, I think the creator Dan Schneider of ideas. Yeah. We have so many ideas. Let's make a cartoon out of it. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah, the creator yeah. of the show, Dan Schneider, has already done like like seven other Nickelodeon. Like he's done iCarly, Drake and Josh, Victorious, all that, and Keenan, like so. It's like if Mash, you've done, he he's Mash. had to have done at least a thousand episodes of TV. Yeah. Like, how do you keep coming up with new? fresh ideas every single week, it must be insane. Dan yeah. Schneider writes not only Henry Danger, but he also writes Game Shakers, and he writes the cartoon, Yeah, and he does it all in like one week, which is crazy, like I, no, I he's can't even... It's a, he's, he's, a work, he's like a work I, machine. I have like a thing in my notes folder on my phone that just says like, buy diapers, like go to the gym, and, I, and even that I'm like, oh, I can't get done with this list. <laughs> And he writes like four episodes in a day. Multi cam shows. And, and like he does it while we're like filming too. Yeah. Like while we're in the middle yeah, of filming, he'll get the writers together and we'll like be typing. Yeah. 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 While we're shooting, he'll be writing the next week's episode. Well, um, we've got a wrap up note that was given to us, so I think I w would love to open it up to the fans. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've um, gone on Raise too long. your hand. I'll bring you guys the mic to the edge of the stage and come forward and I'll uh, have you guys ask some questions of the cast. Let's see. Yes. Oh, yes. Is this a question from Groot or from you? Let's see. Yes, ma'am, what is your name? Kayla. Kayla, what is your question? Why is Piper yelling all the time? <laughs> wow. Riel, do you want to get that one? She Since you're closest with her. Very angry. angry. Very angry. She has emotional she's problems. She's very angry. I think she has a few problems. She went to a. I think she's got some demons yesterday. Yeah. So she definitely some should seek some more help, I think. Yeah. but... She's she's like she, this season, she's mellowed out of it. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think we'll see. Uh, Is that what you enjoy season four the most? I'm not going to yell that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, she's still yelling. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, Cooper, what were you saying about Piper the other day? You you said you just it just occurred oh. to you that she oh I just, you know I, Piper doesn't like Henry, but at the same time she's become Kid Danger's one of yeah. his greatest. Uh, yeah. Helpers, Pi assets. Piper ends up being a huge help to Kid Danger on a regular basis. Like, she's always in the right place at the right time to help him, yet hates Henry with every fiber of her being, which is kind of a fun fun thing to watch. So I think the answer is that uh, she's yelling all the time because she's the girl, which makes her the smartest person in the cast, and it's very frustrating to be surrounded by everybody who's just not as smart. Yeah, <laughs> basically. All right, you guys have some questions over here in the battle of which side is the better fan? No, I'm kidding, not the better fans. Uh, who wants to go? Let's... No one knew for you? How does it feel to start in Henry Danger? His name's Ryu. How does it feel to start in Henry Danger? Hey, How does it feel? It feels great. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> yeah, well, so I'm going to do just, it. You just that crushed James. James. That James. That no, it's, 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 it's like you're growing up, but you're on TV, and you're surrounded by people like Mike Karen and stuff, so it's like, it's a weird, like I've really grown up on the show. It's hard to believe it's been four so, years, to be honest. Yeah, four years. Like, and pivotal, pivotal years in my life, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Cooper hasn't changed that much. The season three darkness? And I've, I've actually changed a lot. It's all internal, though. <laughs> now my bones, my bones I'm have slowly changed. slowly dying. <laughs> slowly, slowly just aging from the inside out. What's your name, sir? Uh, Kale. Hey, Kale. Hey. Who's your favorite guest star on season four? You look familiar. Yeah, you, I oh. think. Wait, oh, my you? God. Wait, is that? No. Hey. This he, guy he for sure. I don't think we can say I, who he I plays. Can't, we can't say who he plays. I know. And I know. if you guys try to talk to him afterwards, please respect that he has sworn to secrecy. But he is in a big two-parter coming up uh, early next year, and it's an episode that I came up with that I got no credit for, but I'm just glad they made it. But it's a really cool idea, and. Um, and I, yeah, I can't give any hints because it'll ruin it. Yeah, that's no, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's a big guy. It's, it's a big. It's gonna be a big one. It's like the big. We're like, talking about canon on the show. Oh that's yeah, a huge piece yes. of the puzzle. Yeah. It it deals with a, a lot of Henry Danger lore, and it's. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something stupid. I'm gonna mess it up. But this Kale, absolutely our favorite guest star so far. Yeah, give it up for Kale. You guys have any questions over here? Uh, yeah. let's get your. You over here, get your brush on over here. 
we, we only have about a minute left, so this will be the last question, and I gotta make you fight through it, but you did it. Uh, what's your name? Hello, I'm Caleb. Um, hey. Hey, Caleb. Hey. You guys are awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. Jace is awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Push this. Okay, I have a question. Why can't Kid Danger be the main here, and why can't Captain Man oh. be the sidekick? Oh! That's a good question. I like this guy a lot. Yeah. Well, I, so much uh, I think well, you just ignored his big spark. He has more experience. He's yeah, been doing the superhero game for longer. He's he's dead. Dead. That's unbeatable. Well, exactly. <laughs> no, well, honestly, I think that's just kind of where the show's headed. Like, and uh, yeah, we'll just see where it goes. Here, here's the example. Do you listen? Do, uh, do your parents listen to you, or do you listen to what your parents tell you to do? Are you talking about me specifically? No, no. <laughs> you don't listen to anybody. That that's a fact. Oh. I guess you should ask <laughs> this Matt guy had the same question about Robin. Like, uh, really want Robin to be running the show? Yeah, but that'd be dumb. <laughs> that'd be so dumb, for Robin. Well, like, have you seen that? Not Robin. Robin. Me. Not like Robin, Robin was considerably you. better looking than that. Just let your Robin. <laughs> get in the get in the sidecar where you belong. Um, Passenger seat. But in all honesty, uh, the the whole uh, the whole concept of the show is that one day Henry will be the main superhero. The whole point is that Captain Man is training a replacement. He's not just my sidekick, he is one day going to replace me. And you can kind of see, if you follow it from the beginning, like how Henry gets better and better of a sidekick each year. So it's kind of headed like to the point where like it's going to be like an equal thing and not like a training thing. Yeah, Henry is taking on a lot more bad guys by himself now. You'll see in season four that like Captain Man will like step back a lot and be like, you take this one. Yeah. You know, and and uh, you know he's he's like Jay said he's grown up on this show. They've all grown up on this show, and Henry and you know the character of Henry Hart has grown as well. And he's become he's you know he'll be a man soon, and he'll he'll take over. And then I guess I'll just retire to the Bahamas. Just, just waste away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rest of Yeah, just uh, spend spend my day spend my day hanging around comic conventions. <laughs> <laughs> Search, searching through bargain bins. Wait, you do that all the time anyways. With my Karen. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, It'll well, be a good death, to quote the Dark Knight uh, Returns. Yeah. Well, if intelligence is a superpower, I think Riel may have you guys all beat to who's the biggest superhero by the end hey, of the show. Uh, Riel's clearly the smartest person here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on on, on set, this stage, at least. You're, you're witnessing what happens on set. These guys start going crazy, and there's Riel. She, she's very patient. She just watches them. And then it's she says, you guys ready? And, uh, oh, oh, sorry, Riel. Yes, okay, here we go. But that is how it goes. These guys start going crazy, and then there stands Riel. Just keeps it together. The second cue comes, comes really out, does. she, just, she that, stops. Right? I, it, someone's got to do it. And Riel is the one that holds it all together. Riel is, is no the, joke. It, Riel is the professional yes. member of the team. Like she's, she's the brains of the operation. The rest of us in are just... Show, in the show, in the but show. also in real life. I, I think you are the... Character, you're the person who's most like her character on the show. You find out she's just funneling the ideas for the scripts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, give another big, warm thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yes. And director Mike Barron of Henry hey. Before we go, can I take a selfie with everybody? Yeah. Can we do that? Here, I can do this. Side of Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.